Good morning, everyone. All right, so we are ready for another travel update. Today, I'm gonna to be covering the new flight rules, in-flight and off-flight rules for Ryanair, EasyJet, and Wizz Air, as all three in the past couple of weeks have released a video on their respective channels, and we're gonna break down the new regulations and rules for onboard and off board. Now, these three airlines are gearing up and ready to go to open up a lot more routes within mid-June to the start of July. I will say before we jump in, a lot of them are very similar, but there are some little differences and um, I'm going to talk about an update from Ryanair as well about booking and changing your flights, which they announced I think yesterday or the day before. So basically all three videos are linked down below, but um, I'm not going to run through all of them individually. You can go and watch them for yourself as they all cover a lot of the same things. So Ryanair, Wizz Air and EasyJet are all recommending that you check in online, get the mobile app and download your boarding pass on your phone. This isn't anything groundbreaking, so we're just gonna move on. It does look from all of these videos that everyone will have to wear masks from cabin crew to the passengers and they will be mandatory on the flights. Also, all three videos did discuss cleaning. I don't know how they wouldn't be able to discuss disinfecting their aircrafts. Ryanair and Wizz Air both show that they are using a spray disinfectant, which apparently is effective for 24 hours and they'll be doing that once a day. I have seen some comments surface up online about how they're only going to be cleaning them once a day, um, but I am not a scientist. I do not know how these disinfectant sprays work, and I'm sure that it will probably go back to normal, that in between every flight they will just be doing a quick clean down. But Wizz Air only just showed in their video that they will just be generally cleaning and disinfecting as usual. I don't know if they're also using that 24-hour disinfective spray that reaches all areas of the cabin. Now, if you missed my last video then we talked about the future of travel. I um, did a hell of a lot of research and I'm so glad you all really enjoyed that. I just tried to give you whatever I could find of where travel could be going in the near future and then we kind of discussed the impacts of it long term. So definitely check that out. I will link it for you. One of the things we mentioned was the air filtration systems on an aircraft. A lot of people have a misconception that it's really dirty air being thrown through the cabin and circulated. Air is actually quite sterile that um, gets pumped around. Most viruses and bacteria will get filtered out when that does a full circulation of the aircraft. Now when we read the report, especially for Europe, they did say we're gonna have to get the trust of the general public in air filtration. So Ryanair and EasyJet both mention that in their videos that they have hospital grade air filtration systems on board their aircraft so that you are getting clean air circulated throughout the plane. So we're already seeing that in effect. I did want to mention there is a clip in the Wizz Air video that kind of irks me. There is a scene where there are two passengers and the middle row is free. Now, what does this give you? What indication does this give you? If you were thinking of booking a flight, you watch this video first. What do you think that gives you as an indication? It's giving you a suggestion that you're going to be able to sit, like we can't social distance on a plane, even keeping the middle seat free. It's just not keeping you really far enough away. However, a lot of people would like to see that being brought in, but like we discussed in the last video, it's not gonna make it economically viable for most flights to travel with a third reduced capacity. But Wizz Air show this in their video, so I was like, oh, are any of them using any kind of like blocking out rows, keeping middle seats free? So I jumped onto each of the websites and booked a ticket and voila. All of the middle seats are available for you to book. There is nothing on there that shows that any seats are being kept free, um, which is kind of what I expected as we discussed in the last video. However, Wizz Air in that video really do, um, that is quite problematic. I don't like that they showed that because um, that's leading people into a false sense of security, I think. But that was just a little bit of a gripe I had. Ryanair also discussed in their video that there'll be no dwelling in the tunnel towards the plane at all. So it looks as if it's gonna be a straight on. Um, so it looks like now, from what I can tell, the aircraft will have to be completely cleaned, everyone off, everything ready for us to then keeping our distance, go straight from the terminal, straight onto the plane, no standing around, no dwelling whatsoever. And I can only presume, even though Ryanair are the only one that said that, I can only presume the Wizz Air and EasyJet will follow suit with that if they want to try and maintain any kind of social distancing, which again feels, I don't know, it's counterproductive because as soon as you're on that plane, you're all in it together and you're super close. But alas, here we are. Now, one of the things I was going to mention is they all kind of discuss how you should be booking that Flexi or Flexi Plus so you can change your flight because obviously anything could happen right now and people are 
not trusting in the booking system. So, well, what if I get sick? What if rules change? What if yada, yada, yada. But I thought they would all bring out something that you could upgrade to a Lexi kind of pass where it's like a transferable or um, a refundable ticket. Now, you still have to pay like out the arse for that because you know it's not cheap to book those flexi tickets however Ryanair did announce yesterday or the day before that they will be um allowing you if you book for a flight for July or August you are able to change your date of flight absolutely free with no fee however you have to then you have to go on the same route you can't rebook it for a different route later on you have to go on the same route you have to rebook it so you are traveling within this year so up to the 31st of december but ryanair just announced that i don't know if i got any backlash it's really hard to go online and see people's opinions of the new rules and regulations simply because especially with ryanair if you go onto their Twitter, every post they make, it's all about refunds in the comments and the replies and the retweets. So I couldn't get any kind of, you know, view on the public stance on it. Hi, this is Ali from the future. I have to jump back on now because I just got to 99% uploading this video and realized something. The version of the Wiz video that I watched there was a clip in that that sent me onto a little bit of a rant, which I will play for you, but I need to put this in because they've changed it. Right. There was a part of the Wiz Air video where they say, say yes to risk-free flying, and I had a rant. Proceed. Now, the biggest gripe I had, again with Wiz Air, I don't know why, this video just really rubbed me up the wrong way out, all three of them. They, at the beginning, say, say yes to risk-free travel. And I think you should be able to say that. Air travel, especially right now, is certainly not risk-free. This whole video rubs me the wrong way, because not only do they show that middle seat being free and things like that, and giving people the perception that you'll be able to somewhat, somehow, socially distance on a flight, but they say, say yes to risk-free travel. It's not risk-free travel. You're all cramming us on one airplane, like, if you're taking a flight, there is risk. There is so much risk to taking a flight right now. So don't have the audacity to stand there and say, yes, just fly with Wiz. It's completely risk-free. You're not going to get sick. You can't say that. It re this video really wound me up. I was like, how dare you make a statement like that to just outright state that flying with us means completely risk-free travel for your health is ridiculous, it's irresponsible, and I ain't here for it. I am not here for that. Anyway, that was my rant, and I'm going to finish this video up. However, when going back, um, because I was looking for a thumbnail for the video, um, that wasn't in there anymore, and I was like, hold up, wait a second, where did that bit go? Did they just cut that out suddenly? Because now it says say yes to flying again. I was very confused. The version of the video I watched is an older version, and it's now unlisted, but still available if you have the link. I don't know how I got the link. I don't know why, but I did get the link, so I think recently they may have, you know, done another one. So they no longer say, say, say yes to risk-free flying. So the rant becomes, you know, I think they already got a bit of a slap on the back of the hand for that. So I'm um, going to change that right now and uh, re-upload this video. Okay, just wanted to put that in there. Past Ali, take it away. So a lot of them did cover a lot of the same things about disinfecting, wearing masks, checking in online and little ways around the airport and on board. You can keep your contact to a minimum. So I will link all three videos down below and any other updates I guess I will try and share on social media. Now, has anyone booked a flight on one of these airlines for this summer? I'd love to hear your experience. And last time in the last video, a few of you who have flown during this pandemic have um, left your story. So if you've flown recently, please let us know down below what was the procedure like? What And please tell us what airline you went with. Uh, if you want to, obviously, and the airport you stopped at and what your experience was. We'd love to hear it down below. And what did, what was your takeaway from it all? What was, um, what do you think they did well? What do you think that was absolutely awful? Um, do let us know and I will try and keep everyone updated. If you see things within the Travel Sphere articles, announcements that I will miss because I can't get everything, please shoot me a message um, or tweet them at me. Instagram or Twitter is the best place or you can drop them in the comments down below on this video and anything you'd like me to cover in the travel sphere as we're moving forward, I'm happy to do so. Uh, just trying to keep you all updated and yes, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and week and I am going to go and enjoy my coffee now. I'm going to get this video up as soon as possible and yes, hope you enjoyed the update. Let me know what you want next and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.